As we've seen, the damage from Dorian in the Bahamas appears catastrophic. Chef and restaurateur Jose Andres is there with his nonprofit organization, World Central Kitchen, which feeds those in need after disasters. He and his group serve meals in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. I spoke to him by phone from Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas, earlier today. Chef Andres, thank you very much for talking with us. First of all, tell us, when did you get to the Bahamas? Where are you? And, and what have you seen? We go to uh, the Bahamas uh, three days ago. We came to Nassau directly to the capital of the Bahamas. We were six people and with one very simple mission, to be ready to, to be near uh, the local government, to the government of uh, Bahamas, to NEMA, which is the, the, the FEMA of the Bahamas and to start learning and getting ready for the response. And what do you have in the way of supplies of food, of equipment, that will allow you to serve whatever the need is? We've been um, uh, getting a lot of help from the uh, private sector as well. We are here in the resort of Atlantis. Uh, happens they have here a restaurant and Atlantis, they've been giving us all the help we can get. And the government, we know they put a lot of assets before in the island, but again, the island literally was underwater. This is like the Caribbean Ocean, the Caribbean Sea took over the island. So we need to think totally uh, with a very open mind and adapt. So we have uh, a ship that will come from Fort Lauderdale. Hopefully by tomorrow will be on, uh, will be our way. We have another ship here in Nassau uh, with two very big uh, freezers that will bring um, a lot of the food we're going to be needing to cook there. We will bring uh, big, uh, big pots of food and we'll create, if necessary, what will be uh, a temporary uh, kitchen in each island. Uh, at the beginning, we're going to be also cooking from here, from Nassau, and probably be bringing the food by helicopter uh, in the early days and, and by boat uh, daily until we are able to uh, finally be cooking in those two islands. We've been making sandwiches for the last two days because uh, the sandwiches are almost like our armories. They are, they are very light, uh, but they are full of calories, and we can bring many thousands with us in the first, in the first uh, helicopter drops. So what happens right now, you need to understand uh, everybody is on rescue missions. It's a lot of people uh, that they are, they are on, uh, on the island alone in their homes surrounded by water. You told us you've been going to the Bahamas for a long time. Have you ever seen anything like this? Everything we see on the videos, everything we see on the photos is like, is like nothing we've ever seen. We need to understand those two islands, they are not very big. They are very narrow islands. So imagine when they are so narrow and water is coming uh, everywhere. We saw videos uh, where barely is like seen hundreds of homes in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. Um, with only water in the horizon. So the situation, again, many people, they didn't have anywhere to be safe. The water was so high that even some of the shelters, they became useless. So we know that in the hospital, it's not only be used as a hospital in Abaco, but also as a, as a temporary shelter for hundreds, if not thousands of people. So again, the situation is hard, and the next days are going to be critical to be able to do a very quick and fast response once all the search missions um, we'll be finished in the next uh, two or three days. Last thing, Chef Andrus, what can people do who are listening to this interview right now do? How can they help? Well, Americans, uh, and I'm, I'm so proud myself now as an immigrant, I can say I am an American too. So proud that the U.S. Coast Guard used morphine as quick as they could. And, and, and they've been already doing an amazing work. And I know already USAID is here in Bahama also ready to bring their expertise. So this is a way already uh, the American people um, uh, through, through these organizations are helping. I know many NGOs are going to be moving. What I'm going to be telling people is always the same. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to be requesting uh, uh, money. And make sure that if you donate money, make sure it's the right organizations that they are really doing work on the ground. Chef Jose Andres, thank you very much for talking with us. We wish you the very best with everything you're trying to do in this horrible situation. Well, thank you very much. And um, we'll keep in touch, okay?